So recently I came across a bunch of articles, videos, and general talk about this new line of beverages from Starbucks called the Oleato, which is essentially Starbucks coffee infused with Pertana brand olive oil. They claim it's velvety smooth and deliciously lush. So naturally, I wanted to try it for myself. Sad to find that it's only being served in Milan right now, I did what any other sensible person making coffee videos on the internet would do and booked a one-way flight to Milan. I'm kidding. Obviously, I did not do that. What I did do is drive by my local grocery store and bought a bottle of Pratana Extra Virgin Olive Oil, Oatly Oat Milk, which is what Starbucks uses in their stores, and of course, some Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast Beans. And I'm going to try my best at recreating this drink at home. So to make this drink, I'm going to pull a standard double using these Starbucks beans, aiming for a 2 to 1 ratio in about 25 to 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take 1 tablespoon of this Pertana Extra Virgin Olive Oil and put it into my milk pitcher along with the Oatly Milk. Then I'll steam it and make a drink, and I'll make one without the olive oil, just for comparison's sake. Okay, so the milk now definitely smells like olive oil. Okay, so we have our two oat milk based drinks now using that Starbucks blonde espresso, which was still fairly dark. And this one in the black cup here is without the olive oil and the one in the white cup here is with it. So first let's give the one without the olive oil a taste. So it's not bad. It's definitely a little step up from what you get from Starbucks, probably because, you know, single dosing at home, you have a little bit less of the accurate taste you get from letting these oily beans sit in the same hopper for a long time. But overall, it's not bad. It's pretty standard. Now let's give the one with the olive oil a taste. It's definitely a little bit richer. It's got a little bit of a velvetier mouthfeel. It's definitely a little bit smoother. This feels to me a little bit more akin to something like using freeze distilled milk in a drink where you get a little bit of that thicker, richer sort of mouthfeel and taste. Now you definitely can pick up some of the olive oil, especially towards the end as it trickles down the back of your throat, but it's not unpleasant. It's not the best thing in the world, I'd say. And is this the new trend? I don't know. I think you just have to try it to see if you enjoy it yourself. Personally, I think it feels a little bit heavy to have as a drink every day. I could see this maybe sort of like a post afternoon lunch meal sort of drink if you like this taste. Um, the texture is definitely smoother in a really nice and pleasant way, actually, for sure. I just, I'm not too sure about getting that little bit of olive oil aftertaste. It's definitely not unpleasant, but it's not necessarily something I'm looking for in my coffee. So that's going to be my little experiment and taste test of the new Starbucks Oleato olive oil in coffee based drink. I think it's worth giving it a try at the very least, especially once they do start introducing it over here at Starbucks in the US. But let me know your thoughts. If you have tried it already, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't tried it, are you interested? Do you want to see variations of this drink? Where do you think it might actually make sense? Anyways, it's going to be it for this short little taste test video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.